I used the Sweet Business Exotic Auto Rifle all day, and I still don't know exactly how to feel about it. Like, I get it. It's a minigun. It spins up like a minigun. It's a 360 RPM auto rifle that ramps up all the way to 900 RPM. The damage model isn't exactly a 360 RPM though. It's balanced in a way so that if you were to start a gunfight at zero without shooting and you held the trigger down, it balances out so that you do get a pretty reasonable time to kill, although not a great time to kill. However, when the weapon is fully spun up at 900 RPM, it does have an advantage over most primaries. Even then, it's time to kill isn't much to write home about, especially when compared to other options. Consider that with one stack of Rampage on a Bygones, you have actually equaled the time to kill that the Sweet Business will give if it's ramped up all the way. It's apparent that this gun is not really competitive, even in the best case scenario, even when I'm using a blinding grenade launcher blinding the whole room, throwing flashbangs, and then entering the room fully spun up with Actium War Rig, it still doesn't do enough to warrant being used over other options when you have to win the match. But that doesn't really matter because if I'm using Sweet Business, that's because I want to have a good time, not necessarily because I want to win the match. It is so much fun to use. In the right circumstances, when I blind an entire room, or when my teammates actually serve as a pretty decent distraction, slide into an ammo brick and inertia override, I can tear the entire team up. And that alone makes the death screen that I have to experience for using Sweet Business worth it. I recently acquired the Catalyst for Sweet Business, which adds unflinching to it whenever you spin up the auto rifle to maximum. That's not much of a game changer on its own, but the catalyst does allow an orb to be created on a double kill. So if your class item has the right perk, better already, to get your shields or health back whenever you walk over an orb, what that means is you can convert a double kill into getting your health back. I decided to put a rumble gameplay in the background just to show that you can use Sweet Business as a dueler, although it is garbage as a dueler because anybody with a reasonable time to kill weapon will annihilate you. But if you spin it up and someone wants to investigate like they think you're in a gunfight, you'll tear them up. I started finding a lot of success with Sweet Business when I paired it with the Actium War Rig. This is an exotic chess piece that automatically reloads the auto rifle just 10 bullets at a time, or 10% of the magazine at a time every couple seconds. You might think Luna Faction Boots and the Warlock are a better option, but the problem with that is that you're kind of stuck to your rift. People will just avoid your rift, but with Actium War Rig, you can pretty confidently have enough bullets to just walk around with this and always put yourself in the right position. Even then, at the end of the day, this isn't the most efficient way to execute this playstyle. I actually think that the Soros regime does a much, much better job of this exact same thing. So you'll see that video tomorrow. I have to say, the most frustrating aspect of Sweet Business is that it has the high caliber round perk. You can spin it up to 900 RPM, but this doesn't mean you still can't be sniped. I don't feel like it flinches the screen enough for it to actually be effective as a suppressing fire anti-sniper rifle option. But again, I digress, Sweet Business isn't the most effective option, but man, is it a fun one. I'm gonna break off into a tangent here and just talk about having fun in PvP. I feel like this is a foreign concept to some. Like some people need to have the best possible gear at all times, they need to be playing to win at all times, even in a casual mode like quick play. I'm not going to call you any names, I'm not going to make fun of you, all I'm going to say is I think you're missing out on a lot of enjoyment possibility in this game. Because throwing caution to the wind and playing for style over effectiveness or efficiency is in my opinion the most fun way to play Destiny 2. There's definitely a time and place to be competitive, I think a good place to start would be the competitive playlist. but. If you want to participate even more in an environment that everybody is trying that hard in, then enter a tournament, play some scrims, go to a sweat discord, something. I totally understand that some people use the best possible options at all time so that they could always practice with them. And I agree, that's a pretty decent way to stay practiced. However, I would say that a better option would be to just use anything that exists in the sandbox learn more about it, 
and try to succeed despite whatever disadvantage you put on yourself. Like for me with Sweet Business, I want to very quickly snap on the targets and perfectly trace them. If I can do it with Sweet Business and succeed, you bet your ass when I switch to something else, something more competitive that you would see in a tournament, like the last word, like Antiope, like a spare rations, I'm going to outgun people. Versus if I was using the meta option at all times, I might succeed even with bad aim. I mean, check this shit out in the background. I just, I was a bungee trailer right there to that warlock. I just shot that bird out of the sky. The skills necessary to succeed with some of these lesser options really reinforce good habits. I have to have good aim, I have to have good positioning, and I definitely have to have good decision making. It's like that scene from Naruto where Rock Lee takes off his ankle weights. That's exactly what it is. It's like I have sweet business on the whole time, and then my sensei says, Kami, just do it this once. And I throw the sweet business on the floor, it creates a crater in the ground, and then I put on last word and enter the tournament. Or like that time when Goku entered the World Martial Arts Tournament with weighted clothing, took off the weighted clothing to move faster, and then started dunking on people. That's what Sweet Business is. Sweet Business is very stylish, Gucci Supreme weighted clothing. It's a shame that Quick Play is so samey when there's so many interesting options that exist in this game. Think about it. Think of all the weapons that you can get from PvE. Think of all the subclass options. Think of how exotic armor tweaks those playstyles. You don't see that much of it. I'm thankful we got strong community members in the Destiny content creation community like True Vanguard. Every time I see a thumbnail, I'm just like, oh, that seems like fun. Click on the video and sure enough it is. He's having a great time and slaying people and you can see that he's an experienced first person shooter player with some of the decisions that he makes to make these eccentric options seem to be working. A lot of you might be turned off by the fact that using something like Sweet Business puts you at a disadvantage, but I assure you it is so much fun. Yeah, you might end up in the death screen more often than not, but that one time that it lines up and you shred the entire team with a fully spun up Sweet Business, it is worth being put in the death screen that many times. But if you're the kind of person who wants to be the most competitive Destiny player you can at all times, then tomorrow I'm going to talk about the Cirrus Regime, which I do think is a very competitive option that fulfills the exact same role as Sweet Business, so stay tuned for that one. As usual, thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see you in the next one. Uh. Ding. Ding. Oh my god. Dun 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 d